when she was in her own environment in private, she was very much the way people perceived her in her roles. You know, the dynamic, fighting, uh, scrapping, tough woman. And that's the way she was, you know. She wasn't really alive. She was just existing, unless she was in the middle of a fight. And it could be a fight over which ashtray you used on which table, or an artistic battle over a script. Can you possibly have one lasting memory of your mother that uh, really... I don't really think so. I don't really think so. If I had to categorize her, I'd say she was a great star. That's who she wanted to be. That's what she was. And as a mother? As a mother, she was a great star. What does that mean? She was always a great star. And she was no different at home than she was on screen. And uh, playing, being a mother was a role to her, same as anything else. Do you feel a loss? No. I feel mother has ended her life. I don't feel a loss because she was no longer part of my life. And to lose something, you have to have it. And she was not part of my life, except as, yes, she is my mother, and yes, she is out there being, being the living legend, you know. So she's still out there as the legend. And no less a part of my life now than she has been for the last five years. Was there any role that your mother really hated? Sure. She hated all the horror movies. She hated all the Hush Hush Sweet Charlottes and uh, all the nannies and all of that phase of her life when she couldn't get any other role. She had to work for the money? Oh, yes. We all have to earn a living. And even though with, with someone of mother's stature, uh, it's perceived that the only roles she took were for art and art's sake, there were times in her career where she simply had to work to pay the bills. Now, mother didn't make anything simple, ever, in her life. But she perceived herself as keeping things simple. And so she had this image of her funeral, and she always talked about it, that she was going to be in a pine box. This was very important to her, that she was going to be buried in a simple pine box. No big bronze coffins, no silver coffins, nothing. It was going to be a pine box. That was it. Yankee, straightforward, austere, no fuss, no nonsense. Now, the, the part of her funeral that she planned, which I find hilariously funny, is the fact that she purchased a marble mausoleum in Forest Lawn many, many, many years ago. And it has a statue of Diana out in front, which she had carved to look like me. Great, huge marble statue. She may have regretted that in later years. It's huge and it's ornate and it's, I think, quite ridiculous. Did she take you to go see oh, it? Oh, yes. Oh, she's taken everybody to see it. So we had tours of this. She even took Mike Wallace there when she was on his show to show him her mausoleum. And her mother is buried there, and her sister is buried there, and she always talked to Ruthie when she was there. And she always had all of her favorite music and Ruthie's favorite music on a constant loop of tape, playing in the little garden outside this mausoleum with the fountain, with Diana, with the urn, and the whole thing. Therefore, in Mother's mind, she's kept it simple. And that is very typical of Mother. It's still very simple, very Yankee.